Hey friends, it's Jennifer Herndon. Welcome back to my video channel. Today's tip for you is that part of your job is to read books. Now, if you were in your former life or are still now an employee, reading books might be something that you put on your resume as a hobby. You know, at the end of your resume, oftentimes you'll see a, a section that says hobbies and you put on there the things you like to do. Go, uh, go water skiing, um, knitting, reading books. Now that you are or are becoming an entrepreneur, reading books has to come off of your hobby section and into your to-do list, your work list, your things I must get done list. It's no longer optional. It's a little bit hard for me to put into words why reading books is so important, but it is. Reading books will do more for you, in my opinion, than a formal education will do for you. And I've had both. I've had an extensive formal education and I've read a lot of books. And the books that I have read have made me more money than the formal education that I have had. So I'm gonna tell you right now, if you are not reading at least 10 pages a day, at least, then you need to change that immediately. I'm going to recommend three books for you today. These are not the best three books in the world. These are not my top three books. Um, I don't know if I could even make a list of my top three books, but these are three must read books just to get you started. Okay, the first one I'm going to recommend to you is The Magic of Thinking Big by David Schwartz. You can see I've got that one right here. The Magic of Thinking Big by David Schwartz. And this is a great book. Um, this is a book that will teach you about um, your attitude, getting your attitude right, and then taking action on your attitude. And it's much more, I have read, I, I probably didn't read this book till about a year ago, I have read lots and lots and lots of books on mindset and success and money, and this was, this book, the reason I'm recommending it to you is because it stuck out to me. This one was different. There's something about the way this is put together, the things that are shown to you and said to you in this book that will make you take action. Uh, if, you, if this book doesn't do it for you, nothing will. So that's the first one I recommend you get. The second one is by Jim Rohn. You knew I had to include him in there. The Seasons of Life is the one that I'm going to recommend to you. The Seasons of Life by Jim Rohn. Um, a short little book, but a great read, a great read. It talks to you about um, how it's important to plant and let what you've planted grow and then reap your harvest. And that all of us are going to go through the seasons of summer, winter, spring, fall. That's part of everyone's life. That's part of everyone's business. And he lays it out beautifully. Nobody can say um, most anything like Jim Rohn can. The last one I'm going to recommend to you is called The Richest Man in Babylon. It's by George Clayson. You may not have heard of this book. I actually, um, give you a little shot of it there. I actually heard of this book through Jim Rohn. This book was originally copyrighted in 1926. So it is a very old book, but it's a very good book. One of the problems I had when I first started my business and became successful was, ooh, I've got money. And when you first have money, you don't really know what to do with it. This is an excellent book to teach you about personal wealth, about how to handle and manage your money. So if you haven't already um, moved reading over onto your must-do list and off of your hobby list, do so today. Um, if you have other books that you have in mind that you want to read that are about uh, related to success, whether it has to do with your mindset or your money or both, get started on them. I'm going to give you these three if you don't have anything in mind. I'm going to give you these three to put on your must-read list at some point soon in your entrepreneurial career. And um, I, without a doubt, they will change your life, change the way you think about things, and get you into action and get you going in a, in a better direction in your business no matter where you are right now. So I hope you enjoyed this tip today. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.